There we go. Body shot. That's what I mean. Then. Get up. Have a seat. You sparred with two heavyweights and you whipped both their asses. Andre, you could make a comeback. And how am I gonna do that? With my help? I still want to be your manager, Andre. How would your father feel about that? I no longer work for DL. We have philosophical differences. But I can get you a license, and I can get you a fight. If you want to fight. Of course he wants to fight. It's in his blood, Gus. Uh. <laughs> I'm coming out of retirement too, kid. <laughs> Told you I'd change his mind. <laughs> Jailhouse boxing makes you tough, but it ain't professional. You know that, kid. You're a heavyweight now. Heavy. Is a different world than middleweight. I don't want you to embarrass yourself, so look, we're gonna start with a couple of low key fights in Mexico. These guys are durable, and they will be coming to fight. Alright, let's go. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for a much-anticipated main event. Six rounds of heavyweight action. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside, and they expect this one to be a barn burner. All right, fellas, let's have a good, clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. Here we go, round number one, oh, scheduled for six. Hey, this is a big spot for him, Teddy. Chavez's future could be determined tonight. He's a clear-cut underdog. Yeah, Joe, this is like high school. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Chavez is stunned, and he cannot block this onslaught. When a high stamina fighter is fighting another guy who's very well conditioned, is there any tendency for maybe some doubts to creep into his mind? Yeah, they're always off. Because you always want to have the edge. Up, We're human you. beings. Bosses are no different. They want to say they have a little edge in that area. But they need to know that this is exactly what they're ready to do. Oh, let go. Let go. Come on. Ref. Thank you. No, you aren't going to sneak a punch in, buddy. Good step back. Counter punch there. Three counter Beautiful. punches in a row. Walks a shot and then lands an uppercut of his own. Oh. Beat me up for about five seconds. Then you can't do Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Chavez. And he ties up on the inside. I need you to stop clinching me. This is not a hugging game. Chavez is doing what every trainer wants to see their fighter do. Rocked, Land punches and punches. The combination lands. Frustrating Ooh. his opponent with great Ooh. defense. Ooh. Chavez is oh, he's rushed he's by rocked. a right hand. Ugh. Walked right into it, Clint. Turn the door. And you see what he can do when right he sends that punch. right to the head. <laughs> Chavez is the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Carissi stresses to Andre Bishop to control every second of the three minutes of a round. He did so in that last round. Yeah, and the way he did it was by controlling range. He's very good at making sure he's the master of distance. Stay away from the power, okay? 
Keep circling away from that power. I, I need you to keep moving side to side. All right? Keep moving. Don't let him get that power shot going. Now listen. Start of this round, and he is proving to me at least that what happened oh. in that last oh, round Adam. is having no effect on this round. <laughs> He's had so much success throughout his career as that Andre Bishop, so. and the right hand's been a big part of it. No, you're in trouble. Chavez's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Antonio Chavez. And now he's targeting upstairs. Committing to the body work now. He lands the right hand. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Ooh, Chavez the is in there clinching more now, it seems, Teddy. Is it me, or do you think he's clinching more after being hurt earlier? Well, I think I'm watching a movie where, you know, in those Prison of War movies, where they give you sodium pentothal. I think that's what the truth serum was called. And he's telling me the truth right now. Yeah, he is clinching more. He's not right. Able to place the right hand in there. Doubling up the jab now. Effective oh, work with that flush overhand right. Chill out. Get inside. Good said, defense chill out. turns into better offense for Andre Bishop that time. He got all into that one. That was a solid uppercut. No. Hits him in the mug with the right. You're not winning the rounds, man. You're not winning the round. I need you to start with your jab and then go to the bottom. The hook, Andre. It's there for you. It's there. Jab, jab, straight hook. Always finish with the hook, Dre. One, one, two, three. Okay? One, one, two, three. here tonight both guys bringing their best and both guys Whoa. meeting each other stride for stride punch for punch what Whoops. a big wow. shot teddy he goes Let's down go. and he was on the outside where he doesn't like to be where he shouldn't be and he paid a price up from the knockdown but what we really want to look for is how he reacts in the coming moments of this fight good clean shot returning fire well done by Andre Bishop Chavez's defense is now serving him well nice job blocking that punch that's okay Ooh. Work defensively by Andre Bishop. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he threw it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Chavez's lack of defense, especially when it comes with just getting away from that right hand, is really costing him a lot here. Well, it's pretty simple. The old timer would say, move your head, otherwise your opponent will move it for you.
You see, he comes over the top with that right hand. A real solid shot. Nope. Oh, and there you go. He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. You gonna stay down this time for me, buddy? Up he gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's going to have to grab on. Kill a little time. You see the accuracy now with that double jab up top. Andre Bishop returns to trainer Gus Carisi, and that was a great round Gus just saw from his charge. Bishop stunning his opponent. Yeah, well, Gus is going to probably remind him, the guy's hurt, he's going to be on survival mode. That means he's going to be using his legs, moving his head. That means he can go downstairs, right, visit that breathe, basement. Deep breath, get some water. You're good. You're okay. Breathe for me. Now listen, you threw a wide punch, and it caught you. the fourth oh. round. Bishop's performance right no. now to this point in the fight has been exactly what his trainer has wanted to see. The question is, can he keep it up for the second half of the fight? Bruh. He engages in the clinch. You see what happens when he commits to the uppercut. Look at that. Great work there. Andre Bishop's got a reputation uh, as being hurt? a brawler. Right now, that yeah. style has got him in control of this fight in these yeah, middle rounds. Yeah, right jab. now, it Look. looks like this fight could be fought in a phone booth. That's exactly the way he Ooh. likes it. There Ooh. it is! <laughs> wow! He goes down again! Oh this going to be called the elevator fight. Up and down all night. Kenny back here on Friday Night Fights. Big pay-per-view this past weekend. Isaac Frost defending his heavyweight title again, stopping Reggie Stewart in two rounds for his 14th successful title defense. Promoter D.L. McQueen has begun touting Frost as one of, if not the greatest champions of all time. That seems a bit premature, but there's no arguing with Frost's record. Undefeated, all his wins coming by knockout. Quite a feat. In other news, can former middleweight contender Andre Bishop make a comeback after spending more than five years in prison? And can he do it as a heavyweight? It's one of the more fascinating stories in sports. We'll, of course, have the latest for you here on Friday Night Fights. Heavyweight action headlining our fight card here at the Mexico City Plaza in the heart of Mexico City. Good evening, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. What a curious path it's been in the career of Andre Bishop, Remember, guys, the former middleweight we'll prospect, at all now time. fighting his Let's second good, fight, fight as a heavyweight. Touch he will up. do so tonight against Raul Castillo. Round one underway between oh, Bishop and awesome. Castillo. You know, the word on Castillo is that he loves to get to the inside and go to the body. So we will watch for the naturally smaller man, Bishop, to utilize some movement and try to keep a distance. Oh, that's a good hook to the body. That's it! That right hand over the top lands flush. I like how when he clinched me, I lost all my stuff. And he just holds on Even. there. Castillo's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Back up, son. Yeah. Well, we've thing. been waiting all week to call this one. Teddy, what kind of fight are you expecting? Oh, the kind of guys that they... Raul oh. Castillo's oh, okay. damaged oh. by a right... Look at that. He just went down. The in-fighter went out, and now he went down. Hey.
say it's okay to go out, but go out the side door. He went out the front door, and as you said, maybe he's paying the ultimate price. One, two, three, four, five. So now the question that comes after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught, have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. Right. You're gonna find out right now, he needs them right now. This is typical Raul Castillo, scoring well to the body. Andre Bishop is hurting there. Okay, let go. Teddy with a power puncher against a high stamina fighter, a guy that can take you into the deeper rounds. How much is it a disadvantage where it sort of takes away what maybe he's best at? Well, it's a disadvantage mentally because if his power doesn't work and the high endurance guy is still there, he may start to dissipate. He may start evaporating right in front of you. The trainer of Andre Bishop was talking about the fact that, hey, this, this is, is a different beast fighting in the heavyweight division. He wants him to block some of these big blows. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Right. Very good productive round from Andre Bishop. He can build off of that. Yes, he can. And he will build off of it because you can see his confidence is mounting round by round. How you doing? You okay? I need you to use your feet. Move around the ring. Got that? Okay, let's go. Castillo's in a tough spot here. 60 seconds, that's all you get to gather yourself after being knocked down. Not much action oh, as he just ties up. There I go losing stamina because I get up. Good block by Andre Bishop. This is excessive holding we're seeing here now. <laughs> Commits to the overhand right and it serves him well. Locked. Teddy, something's got to change. Did you see that? Remember earlier, he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent because he got careless here. Well, we know he can get up. What we don't know is how steady he will be on those legs. But well, we know his personality. He's an offensive-minded fighter, and he has to control okay, that right now. Really right now, he has to think about defense. a razor sharp uppercut by Castillo. <laughs> Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. One but gets one. Good work by Andre Bishop. Keep moving. Keep moving. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Oh, Bishop got battered right there. Bishop was. Wow! Bishop finds himself on the floor again. Can Andre find a way to gather himself and continue on? What guts by Andre Bishop. We've seen it throughout his career we've been following, but he wants to fight on here. And that does it for this round. That's you are dominating this fight. Keep it up. Keep doing what you're doing. Nice, nice. Good work. I want to see you double up that yab, okay? Not one, but two. You don't need that. Throw that away.
Calm down. Calm down. Breathe. Breathe. He caught you with your hands down. Come on now. Hands up. Hands up. Teddy, this seems basically hopeless for him. He's been knocked down numerous times tonight. Well, you never know. I mean, you go back to the 1980 Olympics, and of course, you have that great call. Do you believe in miracles? The only thing, nobody was punching that hockey team in the face. You can actually see how heavy Bishop is breathing right now. He's desperate to get some air into those lungs. He better close that mouth before he's desperate to get his jaw wide. <laughs> Takes a step back. Then the counter punch by Andre Bishop. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. There's not much I can do. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're faced here? Solid. Can he beat the Cowboys? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. Body punches were too much. Castillo gets the knockout victory over Andre Bishop here in Mexico City.